Now, turning back to Indonesia, incumbent President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, Yudhoyono rather, has pledged to double infrastructure spending to as much as $140 billion in his second term in office. SBY, as is known, received a strong mandate in elections this week, garnering an estimated 61 percent of the votes. Let's get insights from our guest this morning, Nizam Idris, executive director and currency strategist at UBS. I want to touch specifically, Nizam, on Indonesian uh, bonds. You say sure. that a lot of room for a further rally. Yeah, in, in my opinion, um, a lot of uh, funds are still looking to put money into Asia. And if these funds are looking for yields, then um, Indonesia is probably the only place in Asia that gives you decent yield. Uh, besides What's that, decent yield? Um, I mean, yields of around about 11 percent in the seventh year, I think, is, is um, excellent, actually. And um, right now, yields have come off a little bit, and, and that's a, an indication of, of demand. Um, the government is also not looking to supply as much, um, you know, longer dated yields as some of the other larger deficit countries. So, you know, the supply side constraint is also um, not as bad. So, you know, I, I think Indonesian bonds can still do well. Talking about the uh, five and ten year samurai bonds, they're expected to be uh, priced later today. At least yeah. that's what the expectation is. Uh, what kind of take up are you expecting? I think it can be quite good. I mean, um, they do not have any real uh, ratings risk, for example, and they have done significantly uh, well in, in, in uh, fiscal consolidation over the last few years. For example, last year the deficit was 0.1 percent, and that's, that's hugely uh, better than, than what we saw even five years ago. And that process of fiscal consolidation is expected to continue. This year, obviously, because of the nature of the economy, they, they need to spend a little bit more. But we are not expecting you know, more than 2 percent deficit anyway. So I think um, the combination of decent growth plus uh, fiscal consolidation would mean that bonds, both domestic and foreign, would be quite well, well accepted. But a lot of investors we spoke to say that the bond market, as, as well as the equity market mm -hmm. and the currency markets, <coughs> have already factored in Yudo Yono's uh, victory. Mm. Uh, why are you still optimistic that, you know, that yeah. in terms of yield, I mean, there's a lot to be had, to be had still? Yeah, um, you, you can say that it has been priced in, but uh, you know I think what you can't price in is what sort of policies that that um, uh, will eventually be uh, announced. I think therefore that in itself is is a risk, right? Um, uh, positioning as well as the fact that we do not yet know who the cabinet coalition would uh, consist. And then um, there's also Golka's um, party election, which could see a change of, of leadership. And uh, I think the market might not react too well to, say, Abu Rizal Bakri coming in as, as Golka head. Uh, and Golka may also be included in the, in the, in the uh, coalition cabinet. So, you know, those sort of combination may be a risk. But, yeah, I mean, uh, for now, I think the optimism is still there. Um, I think the risk uh, of, of a blow up is, is still quite low. Nizam, before we let you go, just very quickly, corporate versus um, government bonds. Hmm. I think corporate bonds offer you decent yields as well. So you know, um, but high risk. I I I will go for the government bond for now. Okay.